Hey everybody, Butcher here, and today I'm going to be giving you a look at what it takes to be a gatekeeper koa. This is kind of geared more towards community servers where you have a big herd and you want somebody at your front door protecting all the babies or other dinosaurs that are in your herd. And it's not my preferred playstyle, but I know a lot of people do it. So here's the build I want to show you guys what the best possible talents are for you to be able to do this. So let's go into the talent tree. First thing we're gonna be taking is three out of three weather resist. Now, I'm not exactly a fan of weather resist in the 5,000 hours I've played. I have only been struck by lightning maybe three times, two or three times, something like that. It's not a very common occurrence. So to me, if I get struck by lightning, I just regrow my dinosaur. This is kind of a dead talent except right now we have to take it to get further down the list so we're going to be then taking three tough stomach this will allow your koa to get fat and still be able to turn and move regularly while still keeping your comfort high one thing we want when we are fat is to have that extra thick hide so we're going to be putting three points in that thick hide it will increase our damage mitigation and it also increases the damage mitigation from your front so having the extra frill with koa this will only bolster it that much further the next three points we're going to be going is healing that will just help us get some extra heals at the front gate keeping us topped off at all times and then we're going to be taking three strong bones this just helps us not get injured but it's not really that important for this build it's just a filler to get to constitution each point in constitution is 10% health, so right here off the bat we automatically get 30% extra HP. If you get the 5, obviously it's 50. 50% 50 HP is a lot of health points, so it's a very, very valuable thing, especially in this situation. Our next three points are actually going to be going strong lungs. Once again, this is actually just a filler talent and is in no way useful to this build but it allows us to get further down the list. We're also gonna be taking Out of Element, which is also another filler talent, and it's just to be there to be able to get us to Sharp Horns. So we're gonna have three points in Sharp Horns. Not only does it give us the extra damage, but it also gives us fat bleeds to put on people and make them suffer, destroy their comfort, and reduce their attack damage. The next three points we're gonna be putting into is Persistence, and that just lets us stomp so much more than we were to before this also allows us to do extra headbutts as well if the stomp is not an option and our final point will be going into brawler just to give us that extra damage at the gate preventing people from getting in and killing them before they can do anything to your herd so that's it guys, that is the ultimate gatekeeper koa build. This is definitely a defensive build and is kind of centered around stat maxing and ultimate protection. Other than that, it's pretty useless, but if you want to guard your Irby buddies, this is the way to do it. I hope to see you on the battlefield guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching buddy!